500 meters is, you know what, like in 500 meter training, I can really drop some quick times. When you don't know where you are on the track, it's completely different. It's foreign and it's like, I think I found that out today. Like, <laughs> David had the right tactics, he sat on me and uh, let me do the work and then he came home. When he went past me, I thought, you've gone early. I thought I might catch him and then I came up that ramp and then it was game over. Yeah, it was a whole different story. Yeah. So, I mean, just assess your season, Martin. It's been up, down, all over the place. I mean, I sat at home and punched the air when you didn't get what you got from the Olympics because it was vindication that you had to go to the Europeans. Do you yeah. see what I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah. What we, don't, we didn't know what was going to happen, but right. you had to fight your corner when you had to fight your corner. So take me through the season from your perspective. It's useless, really. Um, exactly what you said, up, down, all over the place. There's no... This year I didn't find any rhythm. It was... Um, my aim of the Europeans was to go there to find rhythm. It wasn't to win the champion. It was great to win. I really enjoyed it and I'm proud to say I'm double European champion, but I didn't get what I wanted out of it, which was to find the 44 second rhythm. And uh, I never even got close to it after that. So, yeah, I was disappointed. I, um, I knew I felt like I was in PB shape all year. Just couldn't click, couldn't, wouldn't click. So I have to make some changes myself mentally. Um, I've had a great setup, but I've had to make my own change. I've had to make some choices and make some changes and I think it'll pay off hopefully next year. How does that look for the season next year? Well, I've had three really good years with Rainer Ryder, around two, over PB, two European championships, but it hasn't been consistent. I haven't had enough time with the guy. When you're with him, it's incredible, but when you're on your own, you're not getting enough out. So I'm not allowed to move to the to Netherlands because of how many foreign athletes he's allowed to coach. So I suppose the only option is to uh, leave the group, unfortunately. But it's something that he agrees with me, like we need to, I need to take consistent and it, it's not going to be possible to do that in Holland. So. Who are you looking at? Anyone, any ideas? Anybody you want to uh, share with us? Really, huh? Self-coached at the moment. I, th I think I've learned a lot, like, like I said, like Rainer Ryder is one of the best coaches that's about. There's like, across the sport, all events, like, there's not many people who have his record. So I've learned a hell of a lot with, from him and part of his group. And um, obviously I've had guys like Nick Dakin as coach before, so I've got quite a big knowledge base. Um, I still have their ear, they, I can ask them any question I need to ask them and they're, they're surrounded by great people so I think it'll be alright but we'll see how the next couple of months go. How do you, what do you do on the downtime? I know you've got a little boy so there's no such thing as downtime. There's no downtime, I'm back on daddy duties. Uh, my wife Kate, she's been brilliant, she's looked after me and looked after Jack all year. So I suppose it's time to give her a bit of a break as well. So. But I love spending time at home, I love being around my family. That's something I struggled with this year, not being at home. So um, yeah. Time and family, try and catch up with friends down in London and around the country. Next year is important. Massive. London 2017 is huge. Uh, it's a golden era for British athletes. So many home games and championships. Uh, hopefully, I can take advantage of this one.